Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is January 28, 2023, and we celebrate the memorial of St. Thomas Aquinas, priest and doctor of the Church. Thomas Aquinas is the preeminent spokesman of the Catholic tradition of reason and of divine revelation. He is one of the great teachers of the medieval Catholic Church, honored with the titles Doctor of the Church and Angelic Doctor. The first reading is from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, faith is the realization of what is hoped for, and evidence of things not seen. Because of it the ancients were well attested. By faith Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. He went out, not knowing where he was to go. By faith he sojourned in the promised land as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, heirs of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city with foundations, whose architect and maker is God. By faith he received power to generate, even though he was past the normal age. And Sarah herself was sterile, for he thought that the one who had made the promise was trustworthy. So it was that there came forth from one man, himself as good as dead, descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and as countless as the sands on the seashore. All these died in faith. They did not receive what had been promised, but saw it and greeted it from afar, and acknowledged themselves to be strangers and aliens on earth. For those who speak thus show that they are seeking a homeland. If they had been thinking of the land from which they had come, they would have had opportunity to return. But now they desire a better homeland, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God. For he has prepared a city for them. By faith Abraham, when put to the test, offered up Isaac. And he who had received the promises was ready to offer his only son. Of whom it was said, through Isaac descendants shall bear your name. He reasoned that God was able to raise even from the dead. And he received Isaac back as a symbol. Responsorial Psalm Blessed be the Lord the God of Israel, He has come to His people. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. Blessed be the Lord the God of Israel, He has come to His people. Through His holy prophets He promised of old that he would save us from our sins, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord the God of Israel, he has come to his people. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the bonds of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. Blessed be the Lord the God of Israel, he has come to his people. Alleluia, Alleluia. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might have eternal life. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel According to Mark On that day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to His disciples, Let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat just as He was. And other boats were with Him. A violent squall came up and waves were breaking over the boat, so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Quiet! Be still! The wind ceased and there was great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe and said to one another, who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? Reflection Mark's Gospel challenges the disciples to grow into a more mature faith. Pitched and tossed on the raging sea, they fear shipwreck. In desperation, they wake Jesus up. He had been asleep. But they had been asleep also. They had been asleep as to who He really is. Lord, I resonate with this story. Life storms hit unexpectedly and toss me into a sea of chaos, doubt and anxiety. When the waves threaten to swamp my little boat, make me aware that I have you with me as my precious passenger. Let me hear your voice saying, Peace. Be still. <laughs>